Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Shiny Gold X, episode number 13. I'm Circle Cat Zack, and in today's episode, we are going to be heading off to Mahogany Town. That's right, that is Mahogany, if you didn't hear me, and I hope y'all got that reference, any of, you who, any of you who've seen the Hunger Games movie. But, uh, what we have to do is, I went back to Ecritique City, and now we have to go out to this water route, where we can now surf, using Censored, and... Run into a wild Pokemon. Didn't mean to do that. Da, da, da. There we go. We can actually use Cut. Uh, if I had Cut, but I don't really have Cut, so no point. Uh, you can just get berries or apricorns there. We get a free Super Potion right there, which is really handy. I'm going to try not to speed up this episode, because I know I did kind of a lot in the last episode. But that also helped us accomplish um, two gym battles in one episode, which is nice. So let's take this guy on. He's probably going to have water type Pokemon, seeing as he is a fisherman. I think in one of the games he actually had a quillfish, and this is actually 18 trainer divided by 1, which is great. So he will have a quillfish. Yes, I was right. Um, pretty high leveled. Actually, probably don't want to stay in with Fangash. I think I'd rather go into Jiltaru, but it is nice for Fangash to get some experience, and we don't want to make Jiltaru over leveled. So, we will just go straight for the... Yeah, we will speed this battle up, just because it's a battle. Thunder Punch will take it out in one hit, and there we go. This is also Mount Mortar, which uh, we will be able to more easily access when we get Waterfall, but that's not for a long time. So, let's battle this guy, who seems very offended that we showed up here. It's going to be a Pokemaniac, who's going to start with a Neat Arena. Also, kind of a bad matchup for Fungash. Um, so let's uh, get out of there. Let's go into Censored. Censored should be good to take this guy on. Let's go for a Yawn, maybe. There we go. And now we'll go for Confusions. They got confused, but it hit through it. And another one of those should take it out. There we go. Alright, next Pokemon. I guess we'll stay in on because it's just a Nidorino. It looks like all these things know is... Nope. Uh, I thought all they knew was double kick, but oh well. Alrighty, we do need to heal up after that. So let's maybe go use a super potion on censored. We don't really need to heal Jolteru. And we will take on this guy. Ah, it feels good to be outside. I feel so free. Even though it's raining. It's actually raining here where we are. It's it, I don't know if it's raining right now, but it was really really storming hard last night so it should be pretty easy to just mega drain this thing Fungash grows to level 31 we take that thing out really easily and we'll stay in on this deck trio I don't think we could switch anyway because it probably has a arena trap but we take it out in two hits and don't even lose any health well we did but we got it back and with those battles we are now in mahogany town let's see what this guy has to say are you off to see the Gyarados Rampage at the lake? Uh, yeah, we'll get to that eventually. Uh, now I am going to be catching the red Gyarados that's up there. I'm not going to be using it on my team, but you know, it's always nice to have. And technically it is shiny. Uh, I mean, obviously everyone's giving the opportunity to catch it, but it is a shiny Pokemon and it's nice to have. Uh, I don't think these two have anything to say. How about you? Nope. Alright, so if we go back out here, somebody's in front of the gym, let's see what he says. Since you came this far, take the time to do some sightseeing. You should head north and check out the Lake of Rage right now. That's a pretty big hint. Uh, look, and if you try to go out here, this guy will say, Hi, sunny boy, I see you're new in Mahogany Town. Since you're new, you should try a Rage candy bar. Candy bar. Right now, it can be yours for just $300. Want one? No! Or, no. Depending on if you're Chugga Conroy or Shiny Hunter 257. Um, and if we go out here, we are now in Route 43. And this guy will say, I wonder where that, where could that rare bug Pokemon be hiding? My guide clearly says that a rare bug Pokemon shows up sometimes on this route. What? You? You have come to steal my precious rare bug Pokemon? I won't let you. Perhaps last time you cheated, but this time there won't be a cheat that saves you. Prepare to lose again to my ultra-tough bug Pokemon. 
which gives me the feeling that we've seen this guy before and I really don't remember him. Oh, I, I kind of remember that sprite, actually. Uh, this guy's a Butterfree to start out with. Um, that's not really the best matchup. Let's go into Diablo. Diablo needs some training. Ember is not going to do too much. Uh, why is Ember not doing too much? Oh, wait, I got switched out. That's why. Boom, Ember will take it out. I was like, what the heck? What the heck's going on? So there's a Masquerain, uh, which we also take out. And there we go. Arg! When will you learn to stop cheating? There's no way a bug Pokemon can lose. That's why I'm going to find the rare bug Pokemon, and then I'll defeat you for sure. Masquerain's pretty rare, especially for Johto, so. This guy must really like collecting rare bug Pokemon. Uh, maybe the rare Pokemon. I don't know what the rare Pokemon is that he's talking about. We'll just have to see if we can find it up there. Uh, there's another trainer for me to battle, though. Who do I want to switch in front? I want to keep Big Pex in front. Big Pex is falling just a little behind. And he'll let Frangash, for that matter. So, there we go. Frangash is healed up. And let's take this guy on. I can do so much with my Pokemon. It's super fun. And I forgot to switch out anybody. Oh, well. Oh, I didn't know I didn't. I have Big Pex out there, but that's a horrible matchup. So now we'll go into Censored. Hit with a Surf, if we can, and we did that time, but it won't take it out. And the second one will, we break through all the uh, hacks and everything. Let's go for... Let's stay in with Censored, because this thing's part poison. Uh, we're getting roasted. We gotta heal up. Let's use a Hyper Potion. I got confused, and I break through the confusion. And I missed again, and I got taken out. That really sucks. So we'll just take it out with Jolteru. There we go. And I actually used my Personberry. So I guess we'll have to take on this last sand slash with, a, with our Fungash. It gets a crit there, that's stupid. And we get poisoned, which is also stupid. But we go to level 32. I don't think that battle was really worth it because that guy was really stally and got a lot of junk on us. But oh well. Back out we go. Not going to speed up anymore, just going to walk normally back through this little place we go and we've defeated that guy so let's walk through the grass here instead of going up there and battle this trainer are you going to the lake of rage too let's play for a little while uh okay let's see another uh picnicker here 19 trader divided by one very nice she's gonna have a clefairy uh we'll try and take it out with big packs big pack shoes wing attack Boom, that's going to be a two-hit KO. Uh, or am I not? Because it just used Defense Girl. Come on, please be a two-hit KO. And no, of course not. But it's going to use Metronome. What's it going to get? Psy Wave. Interesting. We take that pretty well, I think. No, we don't take that well at all. Oh, wait. No, we take it okay. And Clefairy goes down. Big Pex will not grow level. Darn. So, with her out of the way, we can keep on going here. Let's go and see what we get. Uh, there's a Pidgeotto, that's nice. Uh, and that guy didn't see us. We'll go back. I just want to get this item first, and it is a Max Ether. Very nice. That heals all the PP of a single move. And now we'll take this guy on. Oh, a Flappy, that's cool. We, have, we already have an Ampharos, though, so we don't need to get it. And it looks like everybody's just looking for rare Pokemon around here. This guy, this Pokemaniac, and here's 20 trainer divided by one. Uh, I don't know what's wrong with the difference between their in-battle sprite and their out-of-battle sprite, but they're just so different. Uh, we're about to get killed, so let's use a Hyper Potion. Keep using Wing Attack, and there we go. Big Pex is going to grow a level, and that dude gave us a lot of money, wow. Alright, let's keep going through here. There's two trainers up here, we'll just battle them one by one. Pretty sure they're going to have like a Nido King and a Nido Queen, maybe? Or that's at least going to be two of their Pokemon. So we'll switch uh, Censored out front. Let's see what this guy has. Some Fabio guy made fun of my Pokemon. Darn it, my Pokemon's great. So it looks like Fabio's been here. Which, we have so many rivals in this game, it's just hard to keep up. And this guy does in fact have a Nido King, I was right. So we will now take it on. Let's yawn it first. 
and then start going for synth uh for confusions, not censors. That's unfortunately gonna be a two-hit KO. And we get critted there and poisoned, so we just in endured all kinds of hardship. Uh, I'm not going to go back to Pokemon Center to heal because I'm lazy like that. Let's just go up and use an Antidote because we have 10 of them. And then we'll go back down and use a Lemonade because that'll clear up a space in our inventory. There we go. Let's heal up Big Packs with a potion while we're at it. Oops. Not Skulls. Big Packs. Bird Perks. Alrighty, and now we'll take on this guy who should have a need of queen. Or maybe not, who knows. This guy's gonna have one Pokemon, and it is not! I was wrong. It's a Slowbro. But, uh... Oh well. That just means we can switch out to Skulls and do some work, because we haven't seen Skulls yet. Shadow Ball is gonna be a super effective 3-hit KO, and we actually almost get taken out. Skulls is gonna go to level 1. Oh, <laughs> you're right, level 1. Skulls is going to grow from level 0 to level 1 to 31. And let's use up a... Let's use up this last freshwater instead of a super potion. There we go. And I don't know why I have an XP, but we'll get rid of it later. And we are now in the Lake of Rage. If you go into this house, uh, well, I can move there, but if you go into that house on the right of the screen there... I believe there will be a guy looking for a really big magic harp, and I think he'll give you something if you show him like a huge magic harp. But for now, let's talk to these ace trainers. Lake of Rage is so pretty. Ha! I knew it. This is a perfect spot. He doesn't look like a Dante. I hope that's not racist. Even though it's raining again. Dot dot dot. Don't look so down, sweetie pie. Whoa! What is that? Kia! It's a Gyarados. Wow! It seems to be mad about something. Darling, I'm scared. Oh well, seems like I failed again. Oh hello, Zack. Never thought to find you here. Darling. Oh yes, we're in a hurry now. We'll see you later. See you later. Ah, uh, looks like they were looking to get it on, but there was a mad Gyarados out there. So I didn't I forgot to get a space in my party. But oh well. Let's put um Jolteru in front. Jol does Jolteru still have Thunder Wave? Yeah, it does. Okay, we'll put Jolteru in front then. No. We'll switch it. Not summary. There we go. And then we'll go try to catch it. Here we go. Here's the Red Gyarados. Oh my god, a shiny! Oh my god! Uh, oh my god! Actually, Gyarados looks really cool in a uh, third gen. Uh, I know some people have found them by fishing in either Pallet Town or Cinnabar Island, uh, because I think they're like 15% there. So, let's use Thunder Wave. I'm not going to speed this up, but oh, we didn't even need to. Okay, geez. It's just going to get static right away. And we got flinched, so it didn't even matter. Uh, this is interesting. Um, do I want to switch? Yeah, actually, that's not a bad idea. We can go into Skulls, and pending we don't die to this bite, which is super effective. Uh, and if we go first, which I'm not sure we will, if I can just get a Nightshade off. Yeah, there we go, because I know that won't take it out, because I know it'll do exactly 31 HP. And it got paralyzed, so we can go for another one, and we know that it won't get a crit. There's no way to get a crit with... Nightshade, because it'll always do 31 damage. Or whatever your level is. So, there we go, we don't have to hit it again. And we can actually stay in as long as it didn't use Bite. So let's now go for, um... Some kind of ball. Uh, we can't really dive in this game, let's go for the dive ball, why not? So, dive ball... One... Two... Three... Yeah, we caught it in a dive ball! Awesome! Alright, so, we have caught the red Gyarados and added it to the data. The Pokedex data, that's what a normal Gyarados looks like. It has an extremely aggressive nature, the hyper beam it shoots from its mouth totally incinerates all targets. It's 21 feet tall and 4 inches, and weighs 518.1 pounds. The atrocious Pokemon. <laughs> and this thing was actually supposed to be Water Dragon if you didn't know, but they thought that would be 
way too powerful, so they made a water flying, which kind of crippled it. It's still a very powerful Pokemon, though. And that's the shiny Gyarados, so the red Gyarados. Although it looks more orange a little bit in this game. I'm not going to give it a nickname because we're not really going to be using it in our team. But we'll go check it out later. And we get the red scale as we apparently just surf over it or something. It didn't even disappear. We just kind of like bumped it back into the water. And who is this guy? This lake is full of Gyarados but nothing else. So the Magikarp are being forced to evolve. Did you come here because of the rumors? You're Zack. I'm Lance, a trainer like you. I heard some rumors, so I came to investigate. I saw the way you battled earlier, Zack. I can tell that you're a trainer with considerable skill. If you don't mind, could you help me investigate? Excellent. It seems that the lake's magic are being forced to evolve. A mysterious radio broadcast coming from Mahogany is the cause. I'll be waiting for you, Zack. So, he wants us to go back down to Mahogany and figure out what the problem is with the uh, radio tower, which will be in one of those two buildings. But let us go in here first, and heal up, and then check out the Gyarados we just caught. There we go. Let's move Pokemon. And there's the red Gyarados. Uh, and that's what it looks like. It is technically shiny, so it does have the... Uh, the light blue border and the star. It actually has a modest nature, which is really horrible. That is probably the worst nature it could have. Oh, man. We caught a horrible Gyarados. But, uh, there it is. Modest nature. Good thing I'm not using it on my team. Caught in a dive ball. Uh, with Intimidate. And it's female, which is interesting. I don't know how often it's female and how often it's male, but there we go. And with that done... I think we're going to end the episode off here, so next time on Let's Play Pokemon Shiny Gold X, we will help Lance stop that mysterious radio signal, and we will then, ho we'll hopefully make it through next episode, it'll probably take an episode or two to get through the whole thing, and then after we do that, we will go down to this building on the bottom left here and take on the Mahogany City Gym, Mahogany Town Gym which is going to be an ice type gem. So, thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Like and favorite the video and leave a comment below. Question of the day. Do you use the, uh, I, I asked this for Soda Widow too, but do you like using uh, that Pokemon on your team? Do you like using the Red Gyarados on your team or you, do you just catch it because technically it's shiny and then just leave it in your PC? Or do you not catch it at all? Do you just kill it for experience? But uh. I would like to know, so leave your answer in the comments below, and until next time, I will see you guys later.